Good morning, Parker Falcons, and welcome to the Weekly Word. I'm Mrs. Gert. I'm Miss King. I'm Mrs. Zajac. I'm Miss Rudinga. And this is episode three of the Weekly Word. Today we are we have our instructional coach, Mrs. Zajac, and of course we have Ruthless Rudy as her competitor, and we are going to be playing a Canvas Can trivia on Kahoot. So. I think both of our both of our contestants, I will call them, have their games ready to go. So let's see if I can get some music here. Here we go. Now, teachers and students, pay attention. You might learn a thing or two in this Kahoot. All right, everybody ready? I'm nervous. So when you're in your dashboard, what do you see? Ooh. <laughs> I what? All right. what was the, wait, can somebody tell me what the answer was? It was, um, you see your courses, you see your to-do list and like your upcoming things. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we ready? Ruthless Rudy, man, I really... <laughs> True or false? I can send or receive emails through Canvas. True. Start can. Good job. On the board, Mrs. Zajac. I just, my fingers slipped on the first one. Oh, it happens, don't worry. You know, Mr. Volkman and his internet last season. <laughs> we understand. What is a module? So let's well, talk. It is all of those things, but I was thinking for the students and the teachers using it for their lessons that it would be. So yeah, you weren't wrong. No. But you were wrong. But I was wrong. All right. It can so, be used for all of those things. Yeah. So um, teachers, if you didn't know, you can build your units in modules. And I know some of you have started doing this. Um, I actually built you guys an Ames Web training in modules. So if you're interested in, you know, learning about Ames Web, you can let me know and I'll show you how to download it into your sandbox. Yes, I know you're all dying for that one, aren't you? Oh, Ruthless Rudy. All right, Ruthless Rudy, you're, you might beat me on this. <laughs> Why, well, Ruthless? Hey, she didn't get her name for, for no reason. I, I mean, know. She, I know. she earned that name. Okay, true or false? Once published, Canvas pages can be accessed from anyone by any school. Beat me to, on that one, though, with timing. That is definitely false. Only our students that are in our courses can view our courses. Mm -hmm. So if you're not enrolled in the course, you cannot see it. Yep, yeah. and it's only for our district. What are the two options to record videos in studio? You sure it's not a lightsaber? <laughs> like that? <laughs> so in studio, and I actually just found this out, um, you know, you can record your screen and usually your, your video, your little picture of yourself, like your selfie cam, your webcam is there, and you can remove that. So for all of you teachers sure. that want to do a screen recording in studio without your wonderful, beautiful face on it, you can actually take it off. Yeah, you can just do a sound recording. I am looking for some general life science content to add to my page. Where can I look? The comments. In the comments. Woo! I actually search. Teachers, right? Yeah. yeah. For, so for teachers, if you want to upload some content, 
you can actually find other teachers content. So if you're looking for like a science module, right. mod, module that you want your kids to go through, you can go in the comments and you can search life science or whatever you're looking for. Business, assignments, modules, all sorts of fun things. So you don't always have to reinvent the wheel. What are three ways I can share studio media? Got me on that one. <laughs> hey, what was the answer? It is you can you can share it with someone with their email, mm -hmm. a public web link, and then the other and, one, I don't remember. And embed, and embed codes. You yeah. can take an embed code and you can embed it into Wherever you know, you, you, can, you can be the um web designer you were always meant to be with that <laughs> embed code. I think we're all becoming web designers this year. We are, we really are. Speak for yourself, Mrs. <laughs> If I want to add teachers to my Canvas course, I should click on. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can add other teachers as a teacher or a student in your class just by going to the people tab and then you're gonna add people and then type in their email address and then you can change their role. Um, I, have, I have to say, I have to say, <laughs> Ruthless Rudy, I mean, I thought you'd do well, but I, I really she is kicking my butt. She is doing awesome. Yes. I learned everything from Mrs. Ajax. She's very well versed in Canvas. You are. She's going to lead a staff meeting in Canvas one day. <laughs> True or false? I can hide courses from my calendar. Yes, you can. When you're in your calendar on the right side of your screen, you will see a bunch of boxes for each class and you can uncheck them and check them if you want them to show up on your calendar. So that would be useful if you're just trying to see like what's due for one particular class, mm -hmm. right? So you could erase, not erase, but hide some of the other classes so that you can see exactly what it is. Is that what, what that would be good for? Yeah. Yep. Got it. Yep, if, it's, if your calendar's too cluttered and you just want to focus on, you know, ELA, you can take all the other ones off and just see that class. Yep. All right, I got a hot streak. Yep, and you're, you're <laughs> neck and neck, neck and neck. Fast. If I am a student, where can I find my assignments? <laughs> You can find them in both assignments and in your calendar. <laughs> Good job, Ruthless Rudy. <laughs> even that, even that, that title. Okay, <laughs> we, go. we got two more. If I am a student, how should I submit my Canvas assignments to my teachers? So. Yeah. Go ahead, Mrs. Ajak. So when a teacher assigns you something in Canvas, you will go to that assignment. And then if there is the option to submit your assignment, you'll do it right there in Canvas, not in your email, unless your teacher has specified that. Oh, okay. This is for all, <laughs> all the marbles. I don't know. Ruthless Rudy is pretty ruthless. <laughs> oh, multi select. What resources can students and teachers find on the Canvas Media Center page? Select all that apply. Partially <laughs> correct. <laughs> Wait, I tried to check all of them and it wouldn't let me click them all. Well, they don't call her Ruthless Rudy for nothing, okay? You got me. <laughs> all right, Ruthless Rudy. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'll take yeah. it. <laughs> Mr. Jinx, you are leading the next Canvas staff meeting. 
Amy, and I am so excited. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, so great job, gals. I mean, that was fun, right? Very informative. Canvas um, can. I think uh, uh, Ruth is Rudy might be getting a new job title. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> look out um well everyone we hope that you enjoyed this episode and that it was informative and as always if you have questions about canvas please email one of your wonderful instructional coaches and we're we ruthless rudy <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you guys have a great weekend bye everyone bye